see yourself in high regards see yourself as the prize see yourself as worthy and deserving of love and you need to believe it so that you hi my name's abby and if it's your first time watching me welcome and if you've watched my other videos welcome back I'm a life coach and I help women to heal, rebuild and love themselves more without feeling guilty. If that's something you're interested in, you can work with me one on one and I will leave all my information in the description box below. And I want to say a big massive welcome to all 286 subscribers. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me that you have all clicked the subscribe button. If you are into personal development in life, love and dating, it's definitely worth subscribing to this channel as I make content around this area. So let's get into this video. I am making it because I wanted to give some encouragement and words of advice to single mothers out there still looking for love. Um, I was inspired to make this video because I was watching a YouTube live. I can't remember whose channel it was. And there was a 25 year old young woman. She was a single mother and she's talking to this man that she had met online and she was going to meet him and I'm not sure if she had previously met him but she was going to his place anyway and when she arrived he was actually getting kicked out of another woman's home so he had his things with him and he got into her car and he ended up basically moving in with her and that is not okay because she had two children at home and she allowed this complete stranger to move into her home so so it was very clear that she lacked self-love she had low self-esteem and i tend to find that that is a common thing between young single mothers and single mothers out there because society tends to give a negative label when you can carry shame from the fact that you are a single mother and there is absolutely nothing to be ashamed of so what if you are a single mother don't be ashamed. Don't allow that to ruin your self-esteem because the problem is once you have low self-esteem, unfortunately, men can sense that. Men can sense single mothers who are desperate for companionship and unfortunately, they will take advantage of you. And what tends to happen is, and I'm coming at you as your auntie, your sister, your hairdresser, your best friend, I mean no harm, but what happens when you have low self-esteem and you're acting out of desperation is that you will accept less than you think you deserve and you will end up with not only your own children to take care of, but a grown boy as well. He will more or less take from you. So he will be staying rent free. He'll be eating food from your fridge. And you'll be stressing out because you're working, trying to take care of your children. And at the same time, trying to keep a grown boy happy and he's not even adding to you, he's subtracting to you. So my advice to single mothers out there, only date men who can add to you and not subtract from you, okay? Learn to see yourself in high regards tell yourself that you deserve love and happiness is your birthright start to vibrate higher so you can attract better quality men into your life you have to get rid of all these negative labels get rid of all that shame that you might carry from being a single mother just get rid of it and start to reinvent how you see yourself and i want you to see yourself as the prize regardless of what anybody says because there are men out there who are willing to take on the responsibility okay I don't know if you know about the McClure twins I don't really watch them but they're so cute anyway there's these two twin baby girls their mother found happiness again okay she met a man she had two twin baby girls okay and she got remarried she found love there are men willing to do that. When you are dating as a single mother, go out and socialize, but at the same time, take your time, okay? Don't just take anything off the shelf. Be like MI5. You really have to vet people before you allow them into your home, before you allow them around your children. And that's why I'm saying when you are a single mother, you are the prize. You have a 
family, okay? So you are allowing someone the right to be with you and to be by your side. And that is your right to pick and choose who you bring in to your home. Learn to validate yourself. Learn to enjoy your own company as well. So many times women say, oh, you know, whether you have children or not, I'm lonely. But if you have children, you're not lonely. Focus on your kids and focus on creating your own life. Learn to give what you think a man can give to you. Learn to give it to yourself. Set standards for your life so that when someone does come, you have a standard. You know what you will and won't accept. That when you start loving yourself, you won't allow yourself to accept less than you deserve. I always encourage women to take responsibility for their own happiness. Take responsibility in validating themselves. That's why I've created a free guide called How to Date Yourself. And it's to basically encourage you to get comfortable in your own company. So you learn to go within. Stop putting all your happiness into someone else's hands it's very dangerous when you do that because if they take it away you're stuck so learn to go within you can download the free guide the link is in the description box below i'm actually in the middle of um redoing it so once i've got the new guide out i will be resending another one out so check your inbox for that if you download it and yeah i just want to say Thank you for watching this video. Um, if you have any questions or if you're dating and you're a single mother, let me know how that's going for you. And feel free to interact with me over on Instagram as well. I want to say thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.